What up, guys? You know who it is. Boy, am I fucking pissed off this morning. First of all, when the Bears traded up, I knew right then and there we were fucking screwed. I knew it. I knew he wanted Leonard Floyd. But our GM is too fucking dumb to realize some of my trade up and get him before we do. So instead of having a backup plan, this motherfucker panics and takes Eli fucking Apple. A cornerback. We have five needs on the Giants. Fucking linebacker like a motherfucker we need. A defensive end, a right tackle, a safety, and a wide receiver. What do we do? We take a fucking cornerback. This guy wasn't the best on the board. Fuck, he wasn't even the best cornerback on the fucking board. Not even close. We're going to trade it down to 25th and got Eli Apple. But no, Jerry Reese wants to take Eli Apple at 10. We spent $97 million on fucking cornerbacks. What the fuck do we need another one for? What an absolute crock of shit that pick was. When the Bears traded up, I knew we were fucked. When the Giants made their pick, I ran to the calendar to see if it was April fucking Fool's Day because I could not believe my fucking ears. This motherfucker needs to get the fuck out of here. The only reason, the only reason that I slept last night is because in round two, I have hope that this motherfucking idiot gets his head out of his ass and trades up and can get Reggie Ragland or Miles Jack. I will take the chance of Miles Jack in the second round. I don't give a shit. We need a fucking linebacker. Jerry says, oh, it's a need. We need a cornerback. What fucking planet are you on? That wasn't a need at all. And like I said, if you're going to draft a corner, you get Hargraves. You don't get fucking Apple. We needed a safety. We needed a linebacker. We needed a wide receiver. There was a bunch of them out there. But no. How about Ali? How about you draft a linebacker Lee out of Ohio State? Nah. No, of course not. Could have had Laquan Trello. Could have Corey Coleman. Could have had Will Fuller. Could have had any fucking receiver. Nope. Nope. Of course not. Quarterback. Unfucking believable, man. What in the living fuck does this guy think about? Who fucking scouts this shit? Oh, our scout team liked him. He's the best on the board. He was the best. Shut the fuck up. That's why we've won 19 games in the last three years. Because of this cocksucker. It had nothing to do with Tom Coughlin and all the listen. Tom Coughlin's time was up, I understand it. But I have complained year after fucking year that this fucking Jerry Reese, don't know how to draft, has fucked this team up, has depleted this team of talent, and has no idea what fucking talent is. I am so fucking pissed off. It is unbelievable. You should have heard me last night because compared to last night, this is actually calm. But Eagle fans, you can sit here and you can laugh at me all you want because I criticize your front office. At least your front office went in with a plan. Our fucking, our front office doesn't have a fucking clue. This reminds me of 2012 when Doug Martin was picked before we picked and Jerry's panicked and took David Wilson. Because he has no fucking idea. They have no backup plan. They have no direction. He just spent $62.5 million on Janoris Jenkins. If you planned on fucking drafting a goddamn cornerback, what in the living fuck did you spend $62 million on one for? <sighs> that was cathartic. So, guys, uh, oh, I should have said this at the beginning. <laughs> That's too late. I should have said at the beginning, turn your speakers down. I'm a little pissed. So, yeah, I'm not happy with the pick. Not happy. But I guess you guys can probably tell that. So, <sighs> laugh away. Like I said, the, <laughs> the only saving grace, the only reason I slept, and I did not sleep well last night, Reggie Ragland, Miles Jack. Please, please, somebody, you know, get a hold of Reese and strangle him by the throat and let him know that this team needs a linebacker more than any other fucking position. My God. God, if you were going to spend all that money, if you are going to draft the cornerback, take that money and get Danny Trevathan. And get a linebacker. Get something in that position. I don't understand what the fuck the problem is with drafting the linebacker in the first round. I don't know what the hang-up is why the Giants don't do this shit. In 1984, our linebacking core was solid as fuck, and they still took Carl Banks in the first round. Carl Banks ended up being a, a legitimate, great Pro Bowl type of linebacker. In a, in a sea of great linebackers that were on the Giants. Two Hall of Famers and Carson and Taylor. Jerry Reasons was formidable. And we had a lot of good linebackers. They still drafted Carl Banks. And Carl Banks went on to be a great player. 
For whatever reason, this fucking guy refuses, refuses, flat out refuses to address the weakest part of this team, which has been the linebacking spot for years. <sighs> Fuck, man. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I just had to, I just had to get that out of my system. I feel better now. Giants fans, let's look at it this way. If we have another shitty season, we can kiss this motherfucker goodbye. If we have to endure one more 6-10 and 10 season, he's gone. That's all I can say. And if we're good, then it's a blessing. But this pick really made me mad, as you can tell. So until next time, when I come back on Monday after this draft is over, and hopefully I'm in a better mood because we do a better job, which I don't expect anything from this ass wipe. But, you know, one can hope. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. I did. Bad dog, Giants Mafia, one love now. Peace.